peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vic Slain Hope, and I got another video for y'all. In this video, I want to talk about our testosterone levels, right, and how they've been tampering with them. And I also want to talk about toxic masculinity because that term has been weaponized and been used to kind of like get the strong men, the men who are living in their masculinity, to kind of like dumb down their masculinity, right? Um, because that's kind of like what they fear. They, they, they want to create a society with a bunch of weak men running around so that they can do whatever they please. Because when you no longer have strong men at the head of the society or, or, or the community um, leading it, then that leaves the women. And, and we know our women are easy to manipulate and kind of like push over. They don't have the same level or the same capabilities that a man has when he is acting in his rightful divine masculinity and, and being the protector that he was created to be. Um, so I want to read you a post, right? And it says, the average 20-year-old male today has the testosterone levels of a 70-year-old had in year 2000. Right? Then it says, the average testosterone dropped over 50% in the last two decades. Um, this is very, 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 very important. Right? Um, and there's it's so many factors contributing to this from, from the food that we eat, uh, from the environment. A lot of it is the food, environment. Also, with the, the messages they're feeding us on in television, um, they, they constantly show us certain things, right? Um, they, they oftentimes they silence the strong men, the men who have a certain voice, um, who are preaching about bringing masculinity back, um, or or teaching men how to be men. Or oftentimes they get silenced. Um, they shut them up. Um, they ban them. You know, they kind of like strip them of, of, of whatever means of media that they have to communicate to other men. So we are seeing this a lot, right? Um, a few months ago, I posted a video talking about my testosterone levels. And so basically, when you look at um, this picture, it basically shows my testosterone levels, right? Um, the yellow, so the green is the regulated levels is between 250 and 860 right that's normal that they're saying um so below 250 they're saying that's low that's very low and above 836 they're saying that's very high if you notice it says my testosterone levels is at a 1293 right so that is about 400 right that is about 400 to, um 400 percent um higher than the regular levels right so um, you know, also having very high testosterone levels is, is, you know, it could cause other complications, right? Um, which is why I be trying to stay cool because, <laughs> you know, sometimes it leads to like high levels of aggression. Like when you get upset or when you get mad, um, I don't really know why my testosterone levels is that high. Um, but I also don't consume like a lot of estrogen. I also don't, don't consume like certain foods. You know, I'll be working on my dieting. I've been trying to consult a holistic doctor because I really want to know, um, what is the natural levels? Like, this is just according to Western medicine and Western doctors, but I want to know what a holistic doctor is going to say that my testosterone levels should be, right? The reason why I brought this up is because, and I know some of you guys don't even have a primary care doctor. A lot of the sisters tell me y'all don't even be going to the doctor to get checkups. <laughs> y'all need to be on top of your health. It's very important, right? Your testosterone is what makes you a man, right? So I urge you when you do go to do your physicals and get blood drawn, ask your primary care doctor to check your testosterone levels, right? Testosterone has a lot to do with the level of aggression that you may have. And aggression is important because this is how you defend. This is how you protect yourself and your family from an attack. You need a certain level of aggression to be able to do that. Fuck what they trying to tell you about dumbing down your masculinity. I always say this. If a man does not have the killer instinct then he is lacking in his masculinity. So uh, levels of aggression, um, risk-taking factors, right? This is something that helps entrepreneurs um, take risk to make wealth, right? Also, you also take risk when you're doing things to protect yourself and your family, right? Um, 
drive, motivation. Testosterone helps with a lot of those things. This is why a lot of men go to the gym. When you go to the gym, um, you kind of like feel good about yourself, right? You also um, build in on your testosterone levels. So it's very important for men. Um, there's also been reports of some women having high testosterone levels, right? This is the whole engineering, the whole playing the games with the giving men a lot of estrogen, giving women testosterone, playing these type of games, getting the woman to get masculine, the man to get feminine. Um, it's a lot of games that they are playing, and it's very, very important that you stay on task, that you figure out what foods are contributing to your estrogen. I mentioned in another video, soy. When you consume a lot of soy, it is bad for you, whether you're a man or a woman. In men, it produces a lot of estrogen. Um, in women, it's just the same. That So it leads to like rigorous cancers and other illnesses. But let me play this video, and then I'm going to come back. Yeah, you know, we gotta talk about this toxic masculinity. This term, like, okay, just break this down for us, Reese. We really have to stop listening to white people when it comes to teaching us about manhood or womanhood. And toxic masculinity is a misnomer here. Masculinity is the good thing. It is a power drive circumstance. It is demonstrating manhood and principles and discipline and uprightness and helping to protect men, women, children, families, securing your environment, etc. That's masculinity. But toxicity is the opposite. What we're dealing with is a lack of masculinity, not toxic masculinity. That's what we have. If you want to label it something, a black man or a man who is attacking people irrationally, going off on people, putting his hands on women, etc. That is a lack of masculinity. Masculinity prevents murders. Masculinity prevents abuse. Masculinity prevents people being taken advantage of. Masculinity protects the environment. Masculinity secures the woman. Masculinity is a great example for young men and young women because she receives the love from her father. Masculinity is what protects the environment. But toxicity is the opposite of masculinity. So when a man lacks masculinity, then he becomes toxic, not combined because you never hear the term toxic femininity. That's how you know it was a political agenda behind it. Yeah, wow. Hey, if I had a mic, I'd drop it. So in this video, um, Reza Islam basically breaks down like how there's no such thing as toxic masculinity, right? Um, First of all, that, that term was coined by two gay white men, right? <laughs> Which they probably lack in masculinity themselves, right? Um, Now, so the term is was used as a propaganda um, to get the men to kind of like dumb down their masculinity. A lot of times we hear women say that, right? When, when, when they hear men who are assertive, um, who, who are acting in their divine masculinity, right? A lot of times you hear them say things like, oh, you're, you're being, you know, that's that toxic masculine stuff. That's that, this, that's that, that. To get you, and a lot of brothers, what they end up doing is they end up dumbing themselves down. They end up, well, you know, they try not to be so masculine because they don't want to, make somebody afraid um but what he's saying is there's a lack and i'll put the picture up there's a lack of what the the real problem is there's a lack of masculinity in the community that's the real issue it's a lack of masculinity like the process right most of our teachers are women a lot of us come from single parent households a lot of us just don't have enough male role models present in our lives to teach us healthy masculinity because they don't did a whole number on us right and then when you look up to some of these men in the media or some of the guys that we see on television what do they do they make them wear dresses um they make them play gay roles in movies um they, they make them do a lot of weird shit right they make them do a lot of weird shit you got to pay attention to the images that they're sending us they're putting shit in the food they're sending us a certain image so like the brother said when you don't have masculinity, that's what's toxic. When you're lacking masculinity, that's what's toxic, right? So, like he said, there used to be a time where brothers was able to talk things out, where you could talk, you know, brothers could talk. They didn't have to fight. They ain't, nobody had to shoot somebody behind something small. But because a lot of these brothers are lacking masculinity, right, and they've been feminized, right, they, they have these outbursts just like the women. Right, they have these outbursts. They they go on a rampage. They shoot people. They kill people. You know, shootings among like men shooting women. That shit is as up. It's almost like these men feel like there's no difference, right? Like if if your emotions push you to the point 
that you will grab a gun and shoot a woman because she might not want to be with you or you just upset that upset that you will kill a woman it's like bro like damn you could have easily beat some chick up like i'm not even condoning that but if you was that mad you could have just beat a chick up but you gotta ask yourself what is really firing inside of these dudes that they're going out of their way to shoot chicks to kill chicks you are already stronger than these women you get what i'm saying even if you're just some regular abuser you are already physically stronger than them so for you to get to the point where it's like you're telling yourself i'm going to get a gun and i'm going to kill this chick you don't have no control over your emotions and we know that's usually a lot of time my sisters don't have no range over the emotions we just let them act out because we know that they, they probably can't really hurt us i'm not saying that a woman can't hurt you but nine times out of ten you know she, they just going to run their mouth. They're going to throw their fit. And we know we're stronger than them. We can always restrain them and do certain things. But you got to ask yourself, what is going on with these men that they are carrying out some of these gruesome things? What is going on with these men that they're not just fighting it out, shaking hands, and, 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 going, and, and going about their day, right? There used to be times back in the days where, where dudes would, would be about to do a shooting, right? Maybe they was going to shoot somebody in the park where I used to hang out with or, or whatever. They had problems with somebody in the neighborhood. And they would tell people like, yo, we, you know, it's not safe to be out here right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though these men were doing shit in the community, they had no business doing. They still had a certain level of, 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 of masculinity, right? A certain level of respect where they was telling people like, yo, it's not going to be safe out here. Go home. They was telling the youngins that. I remember that time. I remember those times, right? So I'm just saying that, and the, the brother is saying a lot of things like, yes, the, the problem is the lack of masculinity. It's not masculinity itself, but it's an agenda to kind of like get us to dumb down our masculinity. Um, hopefully this video is beneficial. I urge brothers to check your testosterone levels. Check on the food that you're eating. And let's work on not dimming our masculinity for nobody and standing firm and being assertive. Um, that don't mean be a tyrant. That don't mean don't listen to our sisters. That don't mean whatever you think that means. It just means... You got to be a man. And if you lacking in your masculinity, you know if you lacking in your masculinity. Get get with some strong brothers. Get with some people that can help you. You get what I'm saying? Till next time. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.